Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're taking another look at uh, one of our slashes. We've actually got a, a couple of these. Uh, we pretty much standardized on these as our, our platform of choice here at Racing to Learn uh, for a variety of reasons, right? The, the, the platform is just uh, very, um, very widespread, right? You can get parts pretty much anywhere there's tons of aftermarket support, you know, tons of manufacturers making parts for the Slash, uh, both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Uh, we like the two-wheel drive version because it is it is extremely durable. Um, you know, just the, the bumpers here, uh, really big, uh, provide a lot of, um, lot of dampening from any collisions, uh, especially young kids driving these. Uh, you're gonna run into stuff, walls, fences, trees, etc. Uh, and the the slash takes hits very well. Um, this particular one, we uh, we've been thinking of doing uh, just a, a bigger, brawnier monster truck, right? So you guys have seen our other slash uh, monster truck where we have the the 2.8 inch wheels and tires. Uh, this one we were thinking of of uh, stepping up to larger 3.8 uh, tires, but um, unfortunately. Even with these uh, these little hub extenders uh, that convert the 12 millimeter hex to a larger 17 millimeter, uh, I got these as as part of a trade. Um, but uh, you know these, even with these on, uh, we we are having trouble getting tires to clear. Um, so you know we have a couple of Proline and, and actually stock Traxxas tires here too, uh, but uh, none of these will will actually clear the chassis. You'll see if uh, I put this on here onto the hex, right, that it actually runs into this part of the chassis. And I, I've seen other videos on YouTube of folks running 3.8 inch tires on their uh, on their slashes. Um, they've, they've either trimmed the chassis or uh, I, I'm not sure, probably gotten or use multiple extenders on here. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we may consider some of those options uh, or just go with uh, our regular 2.8s. Uh, we've been meaning to order up some some more Proline uh, tires, you know, maybe try out the Badlands. Uh, perhaps a Badlands 17 inch would, uh, sorry, 17 uh, millimeter hex or, you know, 3.8 inch tire uh, would, would actually clear this because it's not as thick as these mashers. Uh, but while we're at it, maybe we'll just do a, a comparison of the uh, the various tires that we have here. Um, these are all uh, larger 3.8 inch tires. Uh, you know, this is the the Proline Masher. This is an older style rim, but you'll notice that uh, it's got an offset. Uh, this is a zero offset, meaning uh, it's you know it it, uh, it it doesn't go in meaning the the mounting hole isn't offset inwards like uh the masher that we have below this is a big joe and uh it's it's called zero offset because there is no offset versus this i believe it's a half inch offset um the stock tires it, the these are the the um uh what do they call these i totally forgot the talons the traxxas talons these come stock or uh, used to come stock on the e revo uh and uh and older you know some of the 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 other monster trucks there um you know the you could tell that we have different hexes inside here this one looks like yeah this this is a 14 millimeter hex um so uh kind of an odd sizing here not not uh not too popular most most uh most of these 3.8 inch tires will go with, uh, or will have a 17 millimeter hex. You'll see that this newer Talon here has actually a, um, a, a splined hex or a keyed hex, whatever they want to call it, uh, which uh, just helps, um, you know, helps grab the, the wheel uh, better and you, know, ha you have less of a chance of, of um, you know, of uh, stripping out the hex like you've seen on some of our other trucks and, and videos. Um, so yeah, just a couple of options here. I, you know, the, the talons I'm, I'm not a huge fan of. I, I picked these up, um, you know, just uh, just because they were cheap and uh, and uh, you know I saw them on Craigslist. Uh, but uh, the, these talons are are pretty, yeah, pretty uh, 
pretty slippery. I don't don't have the best traction. Uh, the you know these actually this this one the older one is it seems to be built from a, a different compound than the newer one. The newer one actually has a stickier compound. Um, but uh, you know the spline hexes uh, you know don't allow us to use them on trucks like our um, our MT4 G3 or the um, uh, or the Arma Creighton. So I haven't been able to use these on uh, on any truck besides the Traxxas. Uh, you know, the MT4, the, the newer hubs are splined. Uh, we have an older version that, that aren't splined. But, um, you know, just a quick comparison of these tires. You, you can see just uh, how they stack side by side, right? Of course, the, the two talons here are the same in terms of uh, diameter and whatnot. Um, but, uh, you know, clearly the masher is a little bit, uh, little bit wider. The Big Joe, a little bit wider than that. Um, we, we may get some more 3.8 inch tires to play around with, um, but uh, you know the bulk of our, our trucks, uh, we're running the 12 millimeter hexes and a, a 2.8 inch tire. Um, so we'll see, we'll, we'll probably uh, get some more uh, to compare and, and just try on these different trucks. Uh, like, like we mentioned before, you know, really the, the tire makes a huge difference uh, in terms of how a car or truck will handle uh, because it literally it's where the rubber meets the road right it's, it's this contact patch on the ground that uh, you know that that propels a vehicle forward um, so you know if you have a more uh, a more uh, slip uh, like a, a, a compound with less traction or a tire with less traction right uh, that's going to directly impact how uh, the vehicle handles you know a larger diameter tire uh, will effectively give you a higher gear ratio, meaning, or sorry, a lower gear ratio, meaning, um, uh, sorry, higher higher gear ratio. Uh, apologies, got to get my my uh, my numbers straight there. But um, you know, effectively giving you uh, uh, higher gearing, right? Uh, meaning um, the uh, putting more load on the motor, right? Uh, because it, it's got a, a bigger tire, you know, more more torque is required to turn that. So definitely. The Big Joes, the, the Mashers, are, are substantially heftier and larger in diameter than the Talons. Uh, they, they take a lot more power uh, to, uh, to turn and put a lot more stress on the drivetrain components like your, your drive shafts and whatnot. So, uh, you know, we had run these on our, on our T-Max brushless conversion, uh, but we were just snapping these axles uh, left and right. So we went back to the, uh, the stock Traxxas wheel and tire combination and that that seems to have helped um, you know of course we could have upgraded to steel axles or whatnot but being a budget build uh, you know we just went back to the stock tires right uh, keep keep the stock plastic axles uh, but just something to keep in mind you know there there is a, a greater load we, we were running these on our Creighton our Arma Creighton and um, you know not sure if it, it was associated with it or not but uh, our, our center diff had issues right so uh, just things to keep in mind. Thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, comment, or subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and on YouTube, and we'll catch you next time.